you know, gamification is not a panacea. So there's no way to just say, take something boring and make it fun. So there are things that are inherently not going to be gamified. The question isn't one of, is something boring and then you make it fun? I think the other question is, well, maybe there are important things that we have to do that are not always fun. So for example, if I started dropping dead of a heart attack at the moment, I would hope someone would grab a defibrillator and use it on me. No part of that is fun for any participant in that, and using the defibrillator isn't fun, but it's necessary. Um, maybe you'd use gamification to teach someone to use a defibrillator so that they're prepared when that, that started happening. But you know, not everything is fun. Gamification doesn't solve all things, but what it is really good at solving at is conveying information to people through the power of story, and when you can do that, you have a lot of success. People who will primarily think of themselves as gamers play games for a lot of hours, so you can compare that to, say, TV watching. So in North America, the average TV watcher watches TV for an enormous, almost embarrassing amount of time. I think the last figure I saw was 37 hours a week is the average television watching in the U.S. for a U.S. citizen. So gaming amongst hardcore gamers is actually comparable to that. Uh, what's the difference? Gaming is an interactive experience where you're making the decisions as opposed to just consuming the Industries that are furthest along, other than media and entertainment, which are sort of the closest, most correlated to games, certainly in healthcare with companies like Miu Health, who are thinking about not just health, but overall well-being. I think they're really interesting. Um, I think education is the other aspect, which is really being transformed by gamification as well, because really the learning process itself is about discovery, it's about learning, it's about um, doing the things that, that have to happen within a game. Well, engagement is really a function of emotion, and emotion is provoked by stories. So the way you produce emotion is you personalize it for someone, you put them in the position of thinking about how would that impact them. When you're reading a book, when you're watching a movie, the reason why you're scared, even though you're not present in that drama, the reason why you're happy for someone in that is because part of your mind is, is imagining you in that position. So I think going back to story and thinking about how you project people into those roles, if you want to provoke that emotional response, it's really about helping people imagine themselves in those roles.